in the name of God, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Here we are going to start our new course that is NumPy. And in NumPy, in this lesson, we will discuss 1D and 2D array. So first I will read some information which I have written here. Then I will explain to you what is NumPy. So NumPy is a scientific computing package library for Python programming language. Means if you want to perform some scientific calculations or especially in machine learning, we use NumPy. So NumPy, you can say, is a powerful Python programming language. NumPy, see Num stands for numerical and Py stands for Python. So it means numerical Python. Python NumPy library is specially used for numeric and mathematical calculations like linear algebra, Fourier transform, and random number capabilities using NumPy array. So today, in this lesson, we will learn how to make 1D and 2D array, which I have mentioned earlier. So NumPy supports large data in the form of multi-dimensional array, vector, and matrix. So here I have written 1D, 2D and 3D array. What is the difference among them? One dimensional NumPy array. It means the collection of homogeneous data in a single row. If we have only one row, that is called 1D array or it is also known by vector. That is the 2D array which is known by matrix. So it means the collection of homogeneous data in the list of a list. Now what is the meaning of list of a list? I will show you with the help of example. But keep in mind, see here it says in one dimensional array is a single row. When it is a single row or one dimensional array, you have to use only one square bracket. But in 2D array, we have to use two square bracket. That is why it says lists of the list. But in 3D, it says list of a list of a list. It means we have to use three square bracket. But this 3D, we will discuss in the next lesson. This lesson, we will focus on 1D and 2D array. So 1D is called the vector. 2D is the matrix. 3D is the tensor. And why we use the NumPy? Because it is faster, use less memory to store data, and it is very easy or convenient. So first of all, before going to start, you have to import NumPy as NP. So what is the meaning of import NumPy as an NP? Here I have written some information. Again, you have to read it very, very slowly, but I will explain it as well so import keyword imports the numpy package in the current file this import then is the this is the numpy means numerical python and this is as as is a keyword used to create short name of numpy then is the np np is the short name given to numpy you can use any name here but this is convention easy to understand for everyone that is why we use np but again it is it's up to you you can use whatever name you want so here after this you have to execute this is the run button execute it so it is executed successfully now we have to create 1d array right so what is the syntax to create the 1d array and p dot array because we are going to create array np is the short of numpy right np dot array and then you have to use parenthesis as i have mentioned that this is the single row so you have to write down you have to make only one square bracket and whatever you want you have to write down what numbers or whatever separated by commas right then we have to assign some name 
or to all this syntax because it will be difficult for us to use this big again and again if we want to write down so here i said array underscore one is the name so print array underscore one when i will print it you will see the output is three four five six and nine this is called the one d array or it is the metro sorry vector this is the vector right how simple it is so I will recommend you please follow me and do with me in this way you will learn more right so here I will remove this comment from here first I will show you if you want to find out the type means it is a list or it is array we already know that this is the array but if you want to confirm so you have to use the type function write down type and in parenthesis whatever name you have assigned to all this syntax i say this is my array one and execute it so you will see numpy dot nd array this is array now i will remove this comment from here and i will show you if you want to use the print function as well so see this is the output of type function when i will add the print function and then type so keep in mind print function also needs this parenthesis the green parenthesis belongs to print function and this black is with type function when i will execute it you will see the extra word class is also there so class and this is the same this is nd array this is the difference between if you want to add print function or the without the print function then is the ndim ndim means dimension if you want to find out the dimension of your array and we already know that this is the 1d array right but again if you want to know you should know what function you have to use or what method you have to use so array underscore one dot and dim execute it it will give you the output one means this is the one d array and that is the size what the size function or method will do for you array underscore one dot size will give you how many elements you have here we have one two three four five how many elements you have in your array so size you have to use and then see we have five so you should know what is the difference among endem size shape now is the shape shape will give us the number of rows and number of columns but here we have only one row this is the 1d array so keep in mind if you have only one row it will not give you the output rows and columns it will give you only the columns so i will show you here when i will execute it you will see the output in the form of tuple this is the parenthesis and then five this five represents columns usually the shape method gives us first row and then column but if you have only one row it will give you only the output as a column not the rows so here i have written that 1d array needs one index to access each element now what is the meaning of this right 1d array and here i have made i will first i will show you this this is our array name array underscore one then in a square bracket zero comma array name one two three four why if you want to retrieve these numbers right so I said because this is the 1d array so in square bracket we need only one index this one so keep in mind that index always starts with 0 0 1 2 3 4 if I will say how many elements we have so elements are 5 1 2 3 4 5 but index what is the index position of this 5 do not say 1 2 3 0 1 2 if you count from left to right 0 1 2 3 and so on if you count from right to left then negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 there is no 0 if you want to count from right to left right so here it is 1 here because we have one row so we need only one index when i will execute it you will see output in the form of tuple and this is our first row now if i want to 
add the print function so you will see what is the difference between this output without the print and with the print now we do not have the parenthesis if you want to check the data type right data type of your 1d array so you have to use d type executed the data type is integer 32 bits right okay now nd arrays are mutable what is the meaning of this that we can change the values it is not necessary that these values are now permanent if you want yes you can change it so here i said fourth position what is the fourth position do not say one two three for this no index count zero one two three four if i say i want to change this to 30 then see four array name in a square bracket mention the index number and i said now I, it, I, it should be 30 so when i will i will make this first comment okay so see now and if i will run sorry sorry i will remove this and i will when i will run it it will 3 4 5 6 and 30 similarly if you want to change 3 you want to make it 20 so do not write down here 1 what you have to write down 0 and make whatever number you want i said 20 so execute it and see now we have 20 so nd arrays are mutable we can change the values so i hope this is clear now we will work on the 2d array so again the same syntax you have to write down np dot array parenthesis and see in the top i mentioned you it is list of a list right two time list so it means two parenthesis you have to use here two at the end so here and then write down whatever element you want separated by comma and i gave the name array and underscore two if i will print it here see this is the output array underscore two without the print function if you want to add the print function i will remove and show you see now this is our 2d array because we have two rows horizontally these are rows vertically these are columns so the shape of this matrix is 2 by 4 1d array called the vector 2d is called the matrix so this is the matrix when i will execute it by using the print see the array word has gone so this is the difference because sometimes a student become confused why we have array here why they or she or he or she does not have a uh, array word there because if you want to use print so it's gone and now again if you want to check the dimension and dimension it will give you two because it is the 2d array and then size and shape function first we will see the shape will give you the number of rows and number of columns if you have a 1d array then i show you in the beginning only our output was five because it will not give you the output of the rows only the columns then comma but here we have two rows so always keep in mind shape function will give you first rows and then columns we have four columns now is the size size will give you how many elements we have so last time we had in 1d array four elements now we have eight one two three four five six seven eight when i will execute it see the output is eight and here i have written some literal only to show you that it is not necessary that you can use print function with your variable name if you want you can add some literal i said for this array array 2 the shape is two rows and four columns and use this array when i will execute it you will see the shape is two rows and four columns two is to four the shape right so you can add your literals in your print function as well again if you want to check the data type so array 2 data type is also the integer now this is the important point 2d array it is 2d array so we need two index to access each element now what is the meaning of it first i will execute it right and then see okay i will execute this one this is our array 2 so if you want to retrieve this row this row right 
we did when it was 1D array. I said it is a 1D array, so we need one index. Now this is the 2D array. So what is the meaning of it that we need two indexes? It means if you want to retrieve this 5, you have to give the index number of the column and rows. So horizontally, this is first row, but index of this row is 0. Index of this row is 1. So 0 and 1. And index of this column is, this is 0, 1, 2 and 3. So if you want to retrieve this, you have to provide what is the index of a row? Index of a row is 0. Index of the column is five, sorry 0. So that is 0, 0. Now come here. What is the index of this position? So this is 0 row and 1 column. So 0 and 1. Then for 4. Same thing for this whole row, the index of this row is 0. So first element will 0, 0, 0. Second will change 0, 1, 2, 3. That is why it says if it is a 2D, then we need two index to access each element. Right? Okay. Now for the second one, for this one, this one, if you want to retrieve the second row, so one by one, see we will start from here. So this is what is the index? Keep in mind first you have to we have to give the index of our row. So this the index of this row is one because this is zero, this is one. For five it is one, for four it is one, for whole row the index of our row is one. So see one, 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 one. And for this one index of this column is zero. In this one for this column is 1, 2 and 3. So when I will execute this, you will see the second output in the form of tuple 5, 4, 9 and 8. Right? So we have learned that if it is a 1D array, we need one index to access each element. If it is a 2D, then we need two elements to retrieve or to access each element. I hope the concept is clear whatever I said. Now your job is to read it very slowly, practice it, see you in the next lesson and thank you.